My name is Sean Wilson, and this is my final presentation for Writing 320. My research topic is on scientific visualization and climate change. So first off, what is scientific visualization? Well, scientific visualization at a high level is simply taking large amounts of raw scientific data and representing it as an image or series of images in order to gain some more understanding of that data. And scientific visualization aids in interpreting large data sets and allows individuals to gain insight from the data difficult to replicate through statistical methods alone. Now, what is climate change? Well, climate change is the ongoing rise of the average temperature of the Earth's ecosystem, primarily from greenhouse gas emissions caused by humans. So my research question is on how scientific visualization has been used to communicate information on climate change to the general public. I wanted to research how scientific visualization has helped increase awareness, instill personal responsibility, and promote activism around this important issue. The first source I want to discuss is an interactive online data visualization tool called climatedata.us. This tool communicates risks of climate change at a personal level by allowing users to zoom into a map of the U.S. to find their hometown, uh, favorite forest, or any other place with a personal connection. The article on this tool argues that this kind of visualization model, one that aids ads in a personal connection, is key to communicating climate change to the lay audience. A study was conducted on users of this visualization, and this study found a few interesting things. First, the interactive visualization had strong effects on the participants' perceived reality of climate change. Second, participants' overall concern for climate change increased after interacting with the visualization. Third, participants' attitude certainty of climate change was affected. And finally, these results were consistent across multiple geographic and demographic areas and groups. The next study I want to discuss is titled Global Warming Virtual Earth. This was a study on promoting understanding of global warming and greenhouse and the greenhouse effect among middle school students. Researchers of the study developed a technology enhanced curriculum model including interactive visualizations. Students interacted with visualizations through experiments and drew their own conclusions through the process of interacting with these visualizations. The findings, um, the findings of this study uh, confirm that students who um, participated in the online curriculum model, including interacting with scientific visualizations, had an increased overall understanding of the science and causes of the greenhouse effect and global warming. The last source I want to discuss is titled The Climate Visualizer, Visualizer Sense Making Through Scientific Visualization. This article is on the design and implementation of an online learning environment called the Climate Visualizer. Visualizer? <laughs> the goal of this learning tool is to facilitate the understanding of scientific climate information through allowing students to interact with scientific visualizations. This, uh, the paper argues that scientific visualizations can aid in conveying knowledge, and this was confirmed when implemented in a high school classroom. Uh, visualizations promoted new ways of thinking about climate issues and led to an increased understanding of global climate change. So in conclusion, uh, visualizations that show data at a personal level can help communicate the severity of climate change. Visualizations which are interactive in nature aid in communication by allowing users to make discoveries for themselves. And implementing scientific visualizations on climate change in schools can help inform future generations of the state of the planet. And here are the sources that I referenced.